by this lovely person I'll put her suggestion right here um, she requested me to do a list a lipstick kind of video that suits um, brown so medium to dark brown olive skin tone so people like me people in the range of NC 45 so a bit below that and a bit above that so I went through my collection and I had way too many lipsticks so I thought I'll break it into a couple of videos so this one, as you know, is the nude one. So I'm just going to go through my 10 favorite nude lipsticks that I like and that I use. And you can see some of these lipsticks are nearly finished. So you can see how much I love them. And yeah, so these are in no particular order. I'm just going to reach and pick. I've got 10 and hope you enjoy. So yeah. The first one is from Sabi, Sabi by DB. So I have actually have a full review on... Uh, like five or six of their lipsticks. I'll link it down below. You can check it out um, But this is in toffee and I love this lipstick. It's only $4.99 and look how much I have left of it That is all but I love it very much and I'm just gonna come in a bit and just kind of put it on So there's nothing on my lips. So it's a creamy texture. It's not matte It's got a gloss color And this is what it looks like it is a really nice light brown nude. Um, sorry if I'm looking in the viewfinder. I don't want to put lipstick like out here. Uh, but this is what it looks like. I'll come in closer. But you can see it has a gloss finish to it. Um, but it's not really overpowering as a brown. Um, it's very natural looking. As you can see, it's somewhat similar to my natural um, lip color. I love this. I love the price. I love it stays on for a decent amount of time. I love that. And yeah, this is my first nude favorite. Okay, so the next one is On the Catwalk by Essence, number four. Um, so this, the color definitely has a red undertone to it. Um, you wouldn't typically call this nude even if you were to wear brown skin, but I find that it does apply as a nude very nicely. So the pigmentation on this is great. So I'll put, what I like to do is I put like a buttload on the bottom lip, but then I mix my two lips, so kind of smush them together and then blend it out. So I do get a bit of excess on my fingers, but I like to blend it out. And then I like getting this color. I know it's not your typical nude, but I love rocking this lip color, and you, as you can see, it. It definitely has a red undertone to it, like a more mauvey reddish undertone. But I feel like this is a nude for my lips. I love this color. It, can, it goes with most of my outfits and it is also on the very affordable range. So all of my actual top picks are no high-end lipsticks just because not everyone can afford high-end, but everyone can afford drugstore. So yeah. And yeah, this is my next favorite. Okay, so the next one that I love as a nude lipstick is 077 from Rimmel and it's called Asia. So that's what it looks like. So this is my kind of lightest nude that I own, but I love this to bits. As you can tell, it's nearly done. And this is totally different. Um, oh yeah, that's what I'm on. <laughs> it's really hard talking and putting on lipstick, sorry. So you can tell I look a bit washed out, but I just blend it in a little bit. Like that. So my favorite thing to do when I put on lipstick is to blend with my finger. I feel like once I blend it, it absorbs way more and then it becomes part of the lips. I don't like just putting it on and letting it sit there unless it's like a staple color. But if it's like a nude, I like to blend it in, tap it in, and then it looks great. So with this color, you can tell it is totally different, but I love, I love this for a lighter look. It is so different. It's got like, kind of like a plumish undertone to it. And it is light, but I feel like I can pull it off and I love it. It is so pretty, so nice. And yeah, usually my nude lipsticks are pretty dark, but this is my lightest one. And yeah, I really love this color too. The next color is Rum Riche. I never can say this name properly, but 
I love this um, also and this is kind of like a reddish nude and yeah I'll just put it on and I just blend it in as usual this is this one also a very nice red undertone nude reddish brown undertone goes really well and also this it's Maybelline so it is a little bit expensive in Australia if you're in the US or elsewhere it's probably cheaper but for Australians it is a bit expensive if you have the price like 40% off sale go ahead and buy it uh, the next color is 250 glamorous pink so this is from Rimmel it's a, from their moisture renew line this was actually my very first lipstick this is my second tube though. This is how much I love it. Also another red undertone nudish colour. And I love this colour. So you can tell by my previous lipsticks that I do have a certain type of colour or nude colour that I go for. That's just my preference obviously. Um, but I love these colours. I feel like it complements my skin tone very very well. Okay, so the next colour is actually kind of different to what I own. It is um, from the Revlon Super Lustrous range and it's 325 Toast of New York. So on camera I guess it looks like a red one but it has a brown undertone to it as you can see. This is different. It has a deeper brown colour to it so it's much darker like I would wear for wear this maybe in the winter more often but I just put one layer down below on my lips and then press my lips together because I feel like the pigmentation on this is amazing actually the pigmentation on all my lipsticks the ones that I've chosen are really good but I like to put on my bottom lip press my lips together and then blend it in this is what this one looks like so this one is less red but more brown so that is another one of my favorites the next one is also from Revlon and it is from their Colorburst Lip Butter range. I remember when these were crazy, everyone was after these and raving about these and now no one even says a peep, like no one even mentions them. It's funny how YouTube just kind of, the beauty community just kind of swallows one thing and then throws it out the next week. Pretty funny. but. It's in number 40 Red Velvet and this one is also another one of my favourites. Um, as you can tell it applies on very intensely. And just rub it in. So this is that one. Um, another one of my favourites. I love this because of its moisture. Like how moisturising it is. Um, it's a really pretty colour. So I've got three more lipsticks. The next one is from Bow Cosmetics and it's from the higher end line. So it's a water gloss dewy shine, super shine lipstick and it's in toffee. So I really like this. It's one of my recent purchases and I cannot stop using it. I love this nude. It's similar to what I normally own but I can't get enough of them. And it's really affordable too. This one was like $8. But as you can tell, another creamy, shiny lipstick. I love the consistency. This one is super glossy. My lips just glide when I like mush them together. Um, but this is the colour. I just can't get enough of these colours. Look how pretty they are. This one is also from Maybelline. And it's the Colour Sensational Summer Sunset. So I got this in Bali. So I haven't used it as much. But I do like the colour. So this one has kind of an orange tone under. Like an orange undertone. It's a bit different to what I own. I know it looks the same kind of on the camera, but the undertone has a slight orange look to it, like a pinkish orange. And I like that, it's a nice change because most of my lipsticks do have that brown to reddish undertone, so yeah. And the last one is kind of a lipstick, it's like the matte lip colour from e.l.f. I wouldn't know what you would call this, a lipstick or whatever, but I really really love this for nude, very nude matte lips. So this The only downside is it does take me a while to put on. I get to do a lot of drawing on my lips just because my lips are pretty dark. 
so there is a lot of drawing required so a lot of product have, has to get on the lips but I think that's just because my lips are somewhat dark so if you were lighter in skin tone or if you had lighter lips than me it would appear much more faster on your lips but on my lips it does take a tad bit longer but I love this color it is like my second lightest nude that I have compared to Asia which is the lightest but this is one of my favorites too and I love how it's matte I like having a nice change and it is also moisturizing even though it is matte usually matte lips this aren't but this is very moisturizing just a quick tip on this um, if you wanted to sharpen this because it does get blunt if you pull off the bottom this little white little thing is a sharpener so all you have to do is put it in and then twist it and then it just sharpens it I only recently found out I'm like what the hell I didn't know this could do that but anyway enough with the rambling so that was my top 10 picks top 10 favorite nude picks uh, I hopefully you enjoyed them hopefully you like some of the lipsticks that I tried on um, I wanted to try them on just to show you how they appear on my skin tone I know some of them were similar but they are my top 10 favorites I love these for their different reasons um, so yeah, tell me down below if you have any favorite nude lipsticks. I am willing to try any nude lipstick out just because I love nudes. You can wear them all the time, anytime, and you still look great. Um, so yeah, tell me down below and please give a thumbs up for this video if you like this video. Please subscribe to see my next video which is going to be my favorite red lipsticks for dark skin or brown skin. So keep an eye out for that and I will see you very soon.